returning time welcome i am so happy that you are stopping by and guess what time it is tea time today i am drinking on a green tea uh super antioxidant and um it's just much needed <laughs> for uh, the immune system um to flush out the your um liver kidneys something flush it all out as well because this is has been been doing some eating so welcome oh i didn't even take a sip bam all right so this tea time i am talking about and will be talking about a um our weekly what to expect this week and um, i'm also going to be pulling some cards for the collective for all of us um for this week and and know what this week is bringing and how to um be prepared now i am a day late because usually isn't it sunday that is the first day of the week but i was given <laughs> a, a day to myself yesterday so i am now here doing this with y'all um so real quick if you haven't already please like and subscribe i greatly 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 appreciate it i love the support and i love the feedback you know um uh, if this is your first time i love doing these videos um for us for my gods and goddesses and um i and i don't really mind uh the fact that you know i have a message to give out there and i'm just putting it out there and i just greatly 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 appreciate y'all stopping by and don't forget to turn on that notification bell to be notified when there are more videos being uploaded i had to check to see if my mic <laughs> is on i didn't see the red light but let's go ahead and dive in so this is for the week of um December 26th through January 1st of 2022. Hello, new year. So um, what this week is bringing so far. So um, as I looked at the chart a little bit, I went in and, and just dissected it. Won't go too much in detail uh, with it for you all. So I wanted you to also uh, if you wait to the end, you we will have a collective reading as well. So let me do a just quick introduction of what this um, week is bringing. Okay, so um, I have my notes. <laughs> so this week is about order and clarity. Okay, and for us to focus back into bringing order back in and having that clarity that, you know, it's like that almost you know, cleaning the house, you know, before the new year, getting right before the new year and making sure you walk into the new year with no baggage and no crap behind, uh, behind you or dragging on, or, you know, things that you needed to clutter, declutter it now. Now, this is not also, this is also talking about not just the physical, but clearing out you know your mental clearing out the emotions clearing out um things that are no longer serving you um this is a need to be organized and trust um how life is coming to you um trust and and go with the flow trust what spirit is putting out for you trust your purpose trust your path trust your journey okay um and and move in a way that you're not resisting okay this is also a week for some um that tension will uh, be messing with you a little bit, you know? Um, and, and this is tension that's going to be between how you feel and what you're thinking, your, what your ego is saying, because change is happening and change is, is, has to happen. And in a sense where, uh, some are going to resist this change and, and that's just the way it is, but others, the best way to do this is embrace it embrace what this change is bringing and this change is bringing um 
uh, good and it is aligning you into your purpose, into your mission, into what it is that um, you were sent here to do. All right. So there is a aspect that's like a harmonious type of aspect that is going that's being created here this week. Um, and this is between your confidence and optimism and travel and, um, and adventure and having really having confidence in your abilities, having confidence in your skills and your, your talent, having confidence period in yourself and believing in self that you are the one that has the power to make things happen and to change things. All you have to do and make sure you do is to surrender and acknowledge, um, that shadow side. Okay. That's the shadow side that uh, no one likes to talk about, but these are the, um, the, the, that's the ego, you know, that's the pessimism almost messing with you. Like, look, um, we know that you want to do this, but is it right? Is it the right timing? And then you're going to be pushing it off and pushing it off. Don't push it off anymore. Just go with the flow. Enjoy what's happening right now. Enjoy what's what's being you know presented to you, All right? Because this is a great time to start to be independent, okay? And use your creative juices to be independent. You might be in a situation that um, is not, you know, it is too toxic. It could be your job. It can be, you know your workplace. It can be, um, a relationship. It can be so many other things that, that is not, uh, working with you for your highest and greatest good. And that it is toxic. This is the time for you to depend on you, depend on yourself first. Also, this is, um, a great time during this week is to, uh, finding that understanding, understanding others, understanding, um, and, 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 um, you know, being and showing empathy to others that's actually going through something way bigger than what you're going through, not discounting what you're going through is small and, um, or not big enough than theirs, but it's showing empathy to, to others and understanding like, look, I got it. I'm, I, I'm, you know, I, I've been through the same thing and this is a way to help others as well. This is a great time to be social. Um, if you throw in, excuse me, events or anything, this is a great time. It will be successful. There won't be any drama. <laughs> it shouldn't be unless they walk in with a stank face, but it is, um, where you are going to be stopping all of that because they know that that's not the energy that you are trying and to bring in or the intentions that you are trying to bring in. Also, um, this is a week for some that's going to be searching for something, okay, S to be part of something. So a lot uh, of finding self right back, um, um, searching for your value, searching your worth, searching for, for, to be part of a community. Okay. But this can bring in confusion. All right. So be very careful of, of what it is that you're searching for, because when it comes to your desires, yes, you want to be in this community community that does this, that, and that, and that, and that, but some of the folks ain't what that is all about. And it's conflicting with your desires. It's conflicting with your vibe, your energy as well. So just be, um, very careful on that. Um, also make sure, you know, your, your mental is balanced. Um, so the ones that have been doing this shadow work and embracing this feminine side, you know, the feminine energy, um, and, you know, embracing the fact that, um, this is the way I feel and I need to address it. So no more triggers, you know, I, I won't get triggered, um, will happen or, um, where you are strong enough to say, hello, I need to 
do a self evaluation. I need to do some self, you know, self reflecting and to sit back and say, I need to uh, surrender to spirit and let spirit guide me. Now, those are for some. <laughs> to be strong enough for doing that. Um, so listen to your in uh, intuition and be that inspiration. Allow that to be your inspiration. Allow these ideas, allow this time to be an inspiration for you to move into this new year. All right. Um, so one thing that it's not all bells and whistles, like, you know, I'm like the, with the positive, there is some things that can be some obstacles for some, um, but there's other obstacles that a lot of y'all, a lot of us is going to overcome and we're going to keep overcoming, but beware of jealousy, beware of, you know, uh, envy, uh, from you or someone to you. So just beware, just have them antennas up, have the side eye going and just be, um, aware of, of what is happening. Um, also, um, this is a time where people are going to show you their true colors and show you who they are truly, truly are. And this could be a good thing. And this could be a bad thing. Use your discretion, um, uh, when it comes to that, because, uh, I, you know, there's free will. I can't tell you what, who to hang around with. And because first off, I don't know them, but if the vibe ain't right with your vibe, I can tell you right now, it is, you don't need to be around that person. All right. So there's going to be a lot of abundant energy, um, circling around. Um, this is, this is a time for entrepreneurs. Okay. For you to go back into your, um, your drawing book, make sure that your plans are very, very clear of what you want uh, to, 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 well, actually what you want from 2022 and how you want to move, how, how you see, your, your company, how you see your business, how you see your creativeness come together and, um, and have your dreams come into, into reality. Also acknowledging your own values, you know, whatever that, that may be, but acknowledging them and, and taking it, um, for what it's worth and know that you do have value. And for the ones that did, you know, told you, you didn't, they lied child. And they, that's that jealousy and that's that hate. Um, this is a time also for you to be for us to, as a collective, to start achieving our goals, you know, and, and addressing, addressing our, our, our shadow side. Also, um, in, in a way of, 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 of working abundantly and placing that, uh, that faith and, and that positivity and keeping all of that up. I was going to say something. What was I going to say? This is also a great time to push all that negative out. Okay. I think that's, that's what, thank you spirit. That's what, that's what, uh, was, was needed to, to be said. Make sure that, um, negativity is just not even trying to penetrate. And when it, when it does be strong enough to fight it, knock it down from the beginning, you know, and, and say, you know, uh, -uh you ain't, you ain't about to be stuck in my head with this or having this negative vibe or feelings around, you know, I'm staying positive and I'm, I am literally going with the flow. Okay. So I'll pull some cards for us as a collective for this week. And I'll hold them up to the camera since I don't have the camera, uh, sitting down. Usually I do. Okay.
All right, everyone, 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 gods and goddesses. All right, so we have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is letting us know that we also should remain grounded, but yet we are ready. There's a, 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 a bit of confusion going on. Okay, I'm just making sure we can see without a glare. <laughs> But the, uh, the, the page is, is, is letting you know, like, look, you're energetic. There is growth. There is potential. And we are ready as a collective to move forward, to move um, into, this, in, into this week, into this new year. This eight of pentacles is here to, um, you know, it, it's, it's letting us know um, your creativity is going to be what uh, changes your circumstance. Um, when it comes to, uh, the eight of pentacles, some can feel like, you know, you, you got to start all over again or with education or, and finding that, um, avenue of what's best for you. Also, uh, what this also is bringing is the, is business, for the entrepreneurs, um, with this, it's, it's like going back to the drawing board and, and grounding yourself and saying, look, I got work to do. I'm almost there because the nine is next and then the 10. So I'm almost there and I am putting that work in. I am, um, taking action. I am studying. I am, um, perfecting what it is that I produce out. Now, the Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. This is victory. This is um, something that is, is bringing balance and bringing clarity in. It is us thinking and, and coming back to clear thinking and knowing that we have to get back into um, what it is that we love. Now, the four of swords is here is saying like, we need to recuperate. We need to rest, um, and give our mind, um, a, a time to slow down, hitting the mic, <laughs> a time to slow down, a time to, um, relax and to literally go with the flow. All right, because you have the seven of wands here. The seven of wands is you're you're conquering and overcoming all those obstacles and all of those challenges. You have stepped it up to say, I am putting all this back into check. Matter of fact, I'm on even ground now, right? I am I am literally, I'm in heels doing this and I am embracing this, this energy of, 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 uh, the feminine energy of that shadow. I am saying I will no longer have this, these problems, these, th these challenges, these obstacles come up ever again. I am in control now. Now, some will feel like you are fighting with the five of wands here. Some will feel that there is competition because you are getting into your, um, into your business. And this is messing with you, you know, with the, with the five of wands, you know, this is, this is conflict. This is tension. This is, um, you feeling like that there is confusion of what it is of what you need to do. All right. And spirit is letting you know, like, look, surrender and let go. Surrender that control, re release that resistance. All right. And let go. Let go and just, just hang with us. Just hang, hang in the fact that you are in power with the Hierophant here. All right. With the Hierophant, you are grounded. You are, you have brought that spiritual balance back in. You have also, um, this could be a teacher. This could, um, be a, a person where you are stepping into um this into the spiritual world and ready to teach others 
and or this is you have gone through something and you are ready to put it out there you are ready to grow from it you are ready to um show others how to do it this is also a way uh for for you or some to start putting your boundaries up all right with the hair fence and getting back into um the traditional way of how to get things done all right so i'm also going to pull um some oracle cards from the um beyond lemarian deck i don't know if you can tell but i have the um boxes up because i love this deck you know <laughs> okay so home home comes up this is coming back into self this is coming back into your spiritual um into your spiritual home where you you're not being judged and you're not judging the situation this is going back into your heart chakra this is this is um where you literally have to look within now all right look back within also just embracing what you see you know and what is and trusting your intuition all right um the next one is air paradigm shift i told you this is to go with the flow go with the gone with the wind type of fabulous type of this <laughs> uh but this is literally saying um there is going to be a shift not with just within you but what's around you this is a shift where this is alignment this is divine this is um wow i just i just happened to look says 31 and then 13 look that number up 31 13 or uh yeah look that number up how awesome is that but this is you coming out of out of this um this darkness um for some and for others this is you ready to transform into this beautiful beautiful butterfly where you are ready to spread your wings this is also being in alignment having your chakras your higher chakras in alignment and and embracing every everything that is flowing through your dna okay um awakening awaken awareness okay some of y'all going to be awakened this week some of y'all are going to be um uh aware uh subconsciously but conscious so you're going to you're going to awaken this sleepness uh, of the darkness that you were told that you could not embrace those gifts embrace them child embrace them embrace what's around you embrace what's what's what you are being shown okay this is also paying attention into pay attention to your dreams because your dreams is letting you know like look this is what this is from spirit and this is what um we see and this is using your eye your third eye all right and opening and and coming out to see what it is that um that's so it's really really out there for you boom endless opportunities all right endless opportunities you are opening the door of 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 what's coming to you and these are blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings and all you have to do is be ready go back within heal that um heal and forgive all right but heal yourself first heal that pain that you felt like you have put in back 
and swept up under the rug where you couldn't address it. Address it now before the new year comes in. So now you have a clear mind because it's here in the cards that you have a clear mind now and that you are moving forward. And this is like bursting out of, of, of connecting, literally connecting to the divine and bursting out of that, that scaredness and say, I'm not ready, baby. You are ready. Hey, okay. You are ready. Now, gods and goddesses, I thank you. I thank you for stopping by for tea time. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how this week so far is turning out for you. Let me know, um, you know, what tea you're drinking <laughs> uh, and, and whatever else feedback that you have. I greatly appreciate it. Um, but until the next time, gods and goddesses, now I really wanted to um tell you a quick to let you know that the new moon will be here January 2nd of 2022 so and it's in Capricorn so I will have those um videos uploaded for your readings for each zodiac as well but that's what I wanted to do as a reminder. Uh, so get prepared for that because now you're coming in into releasing all of that to embrace all this newness. Happy New Year, y'all, gods and goddesses. Happy, happy, happy New Year. And uh, this is a new beginning. New beginning and embrace it. Until the next time, gods and goddesses, peace and blessings. Mm -hmm.